That's that's so aggressive. Can you can you not? Can you not please? Hey. Ow. I am not a chew toy. Rude. It is. What time is it? Five eleven. Bubbles. Bubbles, is it too early? Good morning. Oh, there's Ashton. There's Ashton. I've been up since 4.15, just laying in bed, <sighs> trying to get the motivation to get up. Well, hi, Bobas, because it's like 30 degrees outside, and I have to go and leave to go to the show and lunch, <laughs> lunch, um, two horses this morning, I gotta go feed first and water, and then lunch, two horses this morning, and then get Renita at least ready, or start getting her ready, because our ring starts at eight, I'm doing, I can't remember either the meter 10 or meter 15, I'll have to look, and then after that, then I'll have to like clean stalls and stuff. And then I think I'll have one more horse to lunch after that. And then I'm pretty much done for the day. So depending on what time it is, I might go over to my barn because Debbie is doing training rides on Zeke and 10 today. So depending on what time she's going, um... I may be able to go get some footage of that and see what's see what's up. Right, Ashton? Right, Ashton? He loves pets anywhere in time. Belly, face. It's so funny. We took her to the vet because I was a little concerned at her incision site because it was a little puffy. Um, which everything was good. It was just some fluid or whatnot because, you know, cats can't keep their crap together. And she was running around like the day of. We tried to keep her contained, but she just, she was being a psychopath. See, psycho. What did he even do to you? What did he even do to you? Why are you biting him? And why are you biting him? Anyway. But she's all good to go. I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. Anytime we bring her back from the vet. <laughs> anytime we bring her back from the vet. He, like, hates her again. I guess it's just the smell of the vet. Like, he'll start hissing at her. And, like, swatting at her and run away. But then, like, after a day or two, he's, like, totally back to normal. And letting her love all over him and jump on him and bite him. It's the weirdest thing. Weirdest thing ever. Very weird. My papa is, is weird. Is that weird? Is that weird? Oh, it's it. Oh, oh, look at the Oh, oh, oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We need to clip your nails. He, fun fact. He absolutely hates his nails being clipped absolutely despises it like it is a whole ordeal and we're taking him to get his teeth cleaned I think next week so I'm gonna have them drum him down while he's sedated 
because he literally cannot stand it. Little lick session going on here. You know, it's the weirdest thing. I don't know what it is with my animals and this dog, but every single animal I have, except for Evelyn, our white and gray cat, because she hates the dogs, but they will just lick him. They will just lick him. Like, the cats will sit there and lick, the, lick him, lick the inside of his ears. Even my chihuahua will sit there and, like, just lick the inside of his ears. And he just sits there like this. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? I guess we should get up. Ooh. Should we get up, Bubbas? I think I'm going to wear a show jacket today. Oh, man. Look at me being ballsy. It's so early. Actually, it's really not that early, but... It's freaking cold. It's 34 dang degrees. Fish. Give me him. <laughs> you going to be a good boy today? He's my first one to lunch this morning. Oh, you can see my breath is cold. And then got Melania to lunch again. And then I'll start getting Renita ready. And we're going. I'm not sure what time we are. Our classes are gonna go, but it doesn't seem like there's a ton of people here, so I have a feeling we'll probably go pretty early because it is our rain starts at eight. Yeah. It is cold and really cold. At least I'm not super tired though, which is nice. I slept really good. Miss Renita eating her breakfast, got her boots on. I put a hoodie on and then double blanketed her. I'm glad I did because she is like the perfect temperature underneath. I was kind of worried she might get a little hot, but no, she was perfect. It's still freezing, so especially since she's used to being in a barn that's like significantly warmer than it is outside. It's nice because our barn, it's not heated, but it stays like 20 degrees warmer in the barn than it does like when the, all the doors are shut and like all the horses are in it stays so much warmer like it's probably since it's like 30 low 30s it's probably in the 50s in there so <laughs> it's like she's gonna be freezing because our stalls are just like outside although they're out of the wind which is nice there hi you're so handsome huh <sighs> Boy, Jamie's coming to do photos this weekend, so she's bringing me a coffee, and I'm so happy because I realized as I was um, on my way here, I was gonna stop and get a coffee and like donuts or something, and I left my wallet locked in my truck, which is here at the show, so I could not stop. Which is good. Luckily, Alex filled my gas tank up yesterday when he came to pick me up, so. Otherwise, if I would have had to stop to get gas, I would have been screwed. You go pretty. Yum. Hi. Hey, pretty girl. She's so cute. Hi, Bo. Hi, Bobo. What are you doing? Eating. Mwah. He'll have to get lunch later today. Yeah, you'll have to get lunch later today. Just for a little bit, though. You don't need much. Just to get some wiggles out, huh? Just to get some wiggles out? Yeah, you get some wiggles out? Hi. 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 Yum. <laughs> She's like, do you have treats? You gave me a peppermint yesterday.
Three zero one. De La Ramita, Kelsey Cole is the rider. Three oh one. under saddle. Coming in for their third trip, this is entry number 301. De La Ramita, Kelsey Cole is the rider. 301. And rock, please, riders. All what are you doing? You looking for scraps and a poo? She's like, do you have treats? No treats? No treats? No. You have treats at your stall. You have treats at your stall. Yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Riley Shut is the rider. Three, four, nine. <laughs> it's like treats? Yeah. Anybody? She's like, hey, let me follow you. You smell like you smell like treats. Hi, pretty girl. You pretty? You good girl? Oh, you relaxing in the sun. Are you relaxing in the sun? Yeah, what a good girl you are. What a good girl you are. What are you doing? Hmm? Did you get the sports fight back? Yeah, you did a good girl. Yeah, you did a good girl. She's a treat now. 
Food, need. I will give you some, don't you worry. Don't worry, I'll give you some cheese. Don't worry. Yeah, good. So good. Oh, hi, thank you. Oh. That's nice. She's starting to shed. Starting to shed. She was so good today. I went ahead and packed her feet. Put liniment and whatnot on her legs and wrapped her. We got done so early. We got all the stalls cleaned. Oh, look at the belly. That felt good. You look good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you look good. She loves to be groomed. <laughs> You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Oh, sorry. You did a good girl. Give you some flex. There she goes. Oh. Oh. Yummy. So yummy. Mm -hmm. And then when I kick him, he's sitting in the hand a little bit. Yeah. And then, but I can't just soften my hand because he doesn't want to. Yeah. All right. To go forward. Where I'm sitting, he's not in motion. Yeah. He's got to give. And I will soften as soon as he. That's awesome. There's nothing there. Mm hmm.
Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Which translates into the changes too. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's just too slow. Yeah. That's too slow to my leg. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I really like how he's taking my hand right here. Yeah. I don't love the answer, but I like what he's trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. This uh, camera quality. to be able to do it.
Well, that's a tantrum. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so handsome. Good boy. Yeah. Oh, you so handsome. Good morning. I'm a little tired this morning. A little bit of a later start. You know. Just fed. Down the bucket, some right then the water. Him, him. And I have got one horse to lunge this morning. And then I'm gonna clean the stalls. And then, then it'll probably be about time for me to start getting radiator ready at that point. And then we'll go and then we're gonna back up and go home. Guys, a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. What a good girl.
the best girl this weekend? Were you so good? She was so good. Were you such a good girl? Hmm? Such a good girl. Your BFF's coming! Lena! Say that hello. Raina <laughs> missed her. Ditch. I wish I had that on video. Renita's like, man, I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> that was funny. I was not expecting that as a random grant. Brandon just went out with Otto yesterday, so she didn't run around. Uh, Renita's like, God, I'm tired. <laughs> oh. It's like Raina doesn't understand how to use her back legs anymore. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so tired. I got Renita unloaded. I'm gonna maneuver my trailer a little bit before I unhook her, unhook the beast, and then <sighs> go home. I'm tired. Can't wait to go home and take a shower. So much, like, I wanted to clean out my car because my car is a dang mess. I dropped, I dropped a bag of Chex Mix in the front passenger side. So there's Chex Mix everywhere. What can you do? Okay, I'm gonna back this up a little. Well, I'm gonna get it closer, closer to the, you can see, I gotta get it like maybe foot closer to the, to the building. <sighs> We're done. I'm on my way home. So tired. I stayed at the barn a lot longer than I expected to. Because when do you ever leave the barn when you expect to? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but I got to the barn. I actually am like, significantly sunburned. Um, I'm very sunburned. The sun was very bright today, but it felt amazing. Um, I ended up taking 10 out for a little hack out in the field, and it was super windy, and there were tarps over, like, a bunch of round bales of hay. And he lost his mind. Like, lost his mind he would I have never seen him that terrified in his entire life and I don't blame him whatsoever because like it was it literally looked like a tornado was blowing that thing around and it was making so much noise and he was so scared he was like convulsing shaking like shaking like you know when they're really cold and they're shivering. It was like 10 times worse than that. Like I could feel it, like his heart was pounding. I could feel it in between my calves and he was shaking. He was so scared. I felt so bad for him. He was petrified. So once he kind of finally like stopped because he was like spinning all around and I was just truthfully just trying to stay on. And when he finally stopped, I hopped down and you know, tried to calm him down a little bit, and once we got past it, he, uh, he kind of calmed down a little bit, but he was, like, sweating, so 
I ended up just walking him back to the barn. I mean, it wasn't a far walk, but I ended up just walking him back to the barn and uh, hosing him off. The poor thing was like, just beside himself, panicked. <laughs> like, you poor thing. So, Renita got to play with Raina for a little bit. Well, for a little bit, I mean, she was turned out with her for like almost two hours in the indoor just kind of hanging out. I am so, so beyond thrilled and proud and just ecstatic with how she did. She, this probably was the best show, like the best we've ever done at a show. And she was just amazing. Like, so freaking good. She left nothing on the table. She gave the, we did two rounds today. She gave everything she had. And it's just like her heart just like burst with every fence. She just, she loves it so much. And she's gotten so much, I don't want to say stronger, like as like pulling stronger, but like so much stronger muscle wise, like over her top line and her butt she could stand to get some more muscling across her top line like across her back behind behind her shoulder blades and um, you know on her spine and that truthfully just comes from her kind of holding tension when you know we're flatting and stuff so a lot of that we should hopefully be able to work through once we can start walking the hills again the only thing with her is like she just like she's like let's go let's go let's go great like walking out away from the barn like she'll stay walking and she's like super chill but once we head back towards the barn she's like barn sour but kind of in like the most polite way like she just jigs back to the barn so it's 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 hard for me like to get out there and do hills like especially when it's cold and windy and all that when she just wants to, you know, jig back to the bar, and I, you know, it's not, it's not the best, um, top line building movement, so, she, uh, she definitely has gotten a lot better, I mean, she's built a lot of top line in the past few months or so, she's only gonna get better. I'm just, I'm, I'm so thrilled with her. It was just, it was just a whole different feeling. Like she, as you obviously seen in, in the videos, and I'm sure I'll, I'll do a voiceover talking through them. She was so forgiving and not like, I mean, obviously I made mistakes. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm well aware of things I did and things I did wrong like she's a tricky ride and you don't really have much time to think about it before it happens so it's kind of like split reactions when I'm riding her because she's just so quick and so sensitive and but like even with that whoopsie jump where I got <laughs> jumped all the way up and almost fell out she could have very easily gotten so mad at me and dumped me right in the dirt and I wouldn't have blamed her in the slightest because that was totally my fault. She literally kept going. She didn't speed up. She didn't drop her head. She didn't like hollow out. She literally just let me get my balance back and then did an awesome roll back and jumped that next ox are beautifully like stuff like that is just a year ago she would not have she would not have done that she would have been so mad at me and she probably would have refused that next fence like she would have been so pissed anyway the fact that she's getting so um i don't want to say tolerant but i'd also don't want to say i mean forgiving yeah but like she's really like trying to to work with me instead of telling me to shove it, we're doing it her way. Like, 
she added when I asked her to add. She took long when I asked, not that I asked her to take long, but she moved up when I asked her to move up, which of course she would. But she just felt, for her, extremely adjustable. I mean, she did eight in a seven stride. Like, whenever, I told Debbie that, she goes, I don't think she's ever added a stride in her life. <laughs> like, this weekend, in every single line that we did on Saturday, I mean, she was amazing. You know, put my leg on and ask her to move up and do the correct strides. And I think, I think now that I, I can back her off, I'm not scared to, you know, ask her to move, move up and move forward. Because before, if I wasn't holding, 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 um, and really trying to keep her back, she would land and launch and take off. And she's not doing that anymore. And everything is just starting to get so, you know, I don't want to say monotone, but like everything's starting to get really seamless compared to where we were at before. And she's always going to have kind of an unorthodox way of going, you know. I mean, she, she is still her, but... I just feel like we are finally clicking, like, not that we didn't click before, but like, it's on a whole nother level now. It just feels like she's really with me and we can be fluid when, when we're doing this stuff and I'm starting to ride her better. It, it, it's hard when you like have had a difficult course with a lot of baggage and anxiety with certain things and you're so used to riding one way, they're so used to going one way. And then when that switch happens with the horse, like it's really hard to break your brain and your and your your muscle memory from riding that horse to ride them like how they're going now. And I mean, it's gotten a lot better. Like I'm, I'm, st I'm starting to ride her a lot better and really be able to adjust to to how she's going but I still you know I still override and I still overanalyze and I still think she's gonna do what she used to do and it's hard to to break my mind and my body of that but it's getting better like I'm making improvements and that's really all that I I care about you know we're we're better than we were yesterday we're better than we were a month ago and we're better than we were two months ago like it just it just made me so happy to feel her want to to do it with me instead of wanting to do it with me aboard if if that makes sense she really wanted to do well, which she always does, I mean, but she's very opinionated, she's very stubborn, and to feel her kind of let that go for the first time was, it was kind of emotional, like, it was really emotional to feel her go out there and want to take my input. It, it was incredible. And the hardest thing for me is, you know, adjusting my release to where I think she feels more comfortable, like, with me having more of a feel over the fence and not so much of that um, drop and pick up. So like drop at the fence, give a, a good or big release and then land and have to pull her back. It just, adjusting my release has been such a, I 
I swear to God, like these people on these motorcycles are absolutely ridiculous. They're weaving in and out of traffic. I literally just about shat my pants because they came up on the right side of me and got so close to my car and got like, I mean, this, this close to my truck. <laughs> it, people are dang fools, man. Absolutely stupid. So stupid. Anyway, um, what I was trying to say was, before I was so rudely interrupted, don't they know I'm filming a vlog? So, it's like that, you know, hold, 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 drop, big release, land, pick up, and try and bring her back. It's just more seamless now, and it's keeping her back on her hind end, and it's keeping her front end a little more tidy. And again, I mean, you know, not, I, I, I'm not, I don't remember it every fence because it's, you know, when you're out there and you're doing it and she's so quick and she's so, you know, reactive and responsive, like sometimes it, I, I don't, it's hard to think about it when you're like, okay, where am I going? What am I doing at? Like, and you know, it's a lot to mentally figure out on top of then having your body, like from your brain to your body to do it. And that's just muscle memory. That's that's gonna come with time, but I'm more aware of it, and I'm trying hard to to make that the new thing because I think you know sh she felt like I was holding, 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 letting her go, and then landing and holding her back. So like for her, I think it was just too many different changes of my position and my body and now I've I've gotten that feel with her of when I'm doing it and I keep that feel over the fence which you know I'm working it, it's just hard it, it's such a hard thing to change and I want more of that kind of automatic release but I'm just not I mean, I can do it if I'm thinking about it, but I can't physically do that and keep myself up and back yet because that takes so much core strength and it's just hard when they're, when she is that powerful and she is, you know, that strong. It's, it's hard to be able to do that over the fence and the thing that I'm most happy with is for the most part this weekend we didn't have that like hold hold launch forward to the jump that like tremendous change of pace that I was working on in my lesson with Ashley when I trailered out there so one of my most recent lesson vlogs um, was exactly that like sitting down in the corner keeping my elbow soft keeping my hands soft and trying to keep the pace with my body which again is extremely hard it's extremely hard on a horse that isn't half as strong as Rita. it just it takes so much strength but it's also so much um, pain in my lower back to to do that because I don't have as good of core strength as I need to ride her like that. So, I'm just, there's so many things, like so many like beneficial and amazing things that came out of this weekend that not even like for the, I mean, not even just for these, but for the, the learning moments and the changes and the growth that we had this weekend, like that's what a horse show, that's what a schooling show, that's what any show is about. Yeah, you, you go and you compete and number one, it's about having fun. And two, it's about being able to see where you're at and, and what changes you can make and what changes you have made already. 
So that's kind of where like this weekend felt so good to me because I feel like all of our hard work that we've been doing on the flat and trying to get her into that half halt and get that instilled has made all the difference in the world. And I'm just beyond, beyond grateful and beyond proud of her. And I'm just, I'm, I'm on, I'm on cloud nine. I'm absolutely on cloud nine. I mean, Zeke and 10 yesterday with their training rides with Debbie. I mean, amazing. It took her a minute between the two to get them going and get them you know, working through and kind of get them broken loose, but they just, I'm, I don't even know what else to say. Like, I'm just so happy. I'm so happy. Uh, so Alex went to go get his dinner. So I'm going to go inside and I'm going to sit my happy butt on the couch and wait for my dinner. And then I'm going to get into the shower and then I'm gonna go back to the couch <laughs> and relax and watch Netflix because I'm stinking tired. <laughs> so <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to bring more show vlogs to you guys and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs>